we wanted to throw together some after hours audio because there's so much going on and so many concerns um, first of all the psychopaths are out in full force there is a uh, a YouTube video that Bo pointed out earlier today on YouTube by Danny Carlson cop cuts off long borders crash now these kids in Canada were out skateboarding and the cop pulled out in front of them and the children had to move in order to not crash into the police or get run over and of course this is nothing more than corporate policy where human beings are worth less and less and less every day including our own children I urge everybody to go to YouTube the video is called cop cuts off long borders dash crash in Canada the Corporation of Canada we're up in the ante now we got a bus driver fired for picking up freezing kids in her SUV when her bus broke down. And this is, of course, on freerangekids.com. It starts out, folks, Canadian school bus driver Kendra Linden was about to pick up kids on a freezing cold day when her bus broke down. Other recent times this had happened, she recalled no replacement bus arrived. And so, with wind chill temperatures dipping to minus 37 degrees Celsius, which is minus 40, 34 degrees Fahrenheit, she took matters into her own hands and picked up the few students along her route in her SUV. Parents have since been writing letters in Linden's behalf, but so far it seems there's no chance of an appeal because rules are rules. Kids don't matter. We're not protecting kids. We're out protecting corporate policy. Now they're making this big stink that she had little people in the back of her SUV without any seatbelts on. I'm sorry, but I was once a plebeian citizen and my parents sent me out back and forth to public school, otherwise known as Hitler Youth Camps, on a bus without seatbelts. Not once did we have seatbelts. And we've lived in various places including Fairbanks, Alaska, where the moose population is a lot higher than the bus population. And we had many, many, many scares, never with a seatbelt. And at one time, we were on the bus when a truck jackknifed in front of us and knocked us over a hill. We were just teetering on the side of a cliff, no seatbelts. Now, that's not a reason for her firing, is it? She was fired because kids could have died, but they didn't. And those children that could have died would have brought many, many, many death derivatives into the municipal coffers. And again, I will say this loud and clear to Scotland and the UK, England and Greece, Australia, and the United States of America, which is a style. Get your kids out of the Hitler Youth Camp. Stop screaming about this core testing. Stop screaming about these school lunches. Now another parent got another notice. You can't send any food to school with your kids. We need to feed them USDA food that's supplied through the schools. Well, why is that? Well, go to the USDA. Go to the FDA and the contracts with the Ethics Commission and you'll find that human beings are human test subjects. You'll find that the testing models or the model theories are prisons and public schools that they test many many foods in. Approved by the USDA means it's approved for study, not approved for consumption. This is eugenics it's right in front of your face. Corporate policy means we're maintaining corporate welfare off of the backs of human beings, making sure that no corporation, no bank, no judge 
otherwise known as a banker, no attorney otherwise known as a banker, will ever go hungry until you stand up and get Satan out of your midst. I was teaching a class earlier and we got back into attorney work product doctrine. And we need to have this according to their their own writings you know to maintain an adversarial system go look up the word satan the etymology on the word satan means adversary so while you're all dancing around and you're looking for this forked tongue red fellow with the horns on his head you need to look down there at the local law firm or bank and you'll find satan which brings us to accountability. From Cincinnati.com earlier today, Florence attorney charged with stealing from clients. A veteran Florence attorney who had been in jail for five months has been charged with stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from his clients. Boone County Sheriff's Office say John Arnett also forged court records and bank statements to cover up his theft over the last 13 years. Hello, you're, you're making these individuals, these attorneys, this Satan executor over your states. You're allowing these bankers to be the conservator of your states. Now they have an oath to Congress to discharge their bankruptcy as their conservator under 28 U.S.C. subsection 453, judicial oath. Now when you delve into what a judge is and you go to the Federal Magistrate and Judges Association, and then you look at what these magistrates are and what they've always been, go all the way back to Sparta. These are the same E fours, E P H O R S, as the E fours of Sparta. These are the things tricking you out, pimping you out, you Spartan citizens. What's a Spartan citizen? Anybody who can hold enough concepts to patronize or call a fictional government their father. Of course, Jesus always said, "What? Call no man your father, not even Christ." Well, what do we do? Patronize your own house. Stop patronizing the House of Representatives. That thing, so far, you've been calling it your father. Constitution right there says so. It says you've vested power in Congress. Senate and the House of Representatives in Congress. What does it say in 1 Corinthians 6? You can only fornicate by giving your body over to the Lord God. And it also says, God has raised up the Lord God, so shall he raise us up by his own power. How do you do that? Get out of the House of Representatives and live in your own house. Patronize your own house. Stop buying these concepts, which only comes from the tree of knowledge. A tree of knowledge bears fruit called concepts. What does it say in Genesis or the action of biogen uh, biogenesis, which means away from life, mind, and soul? Well, the Greek translation said God accepted concepts. He took up concepts and called them good. Sold to you by none other than the law merchant. That makes us a horror Babylon, doesn't it? Aren't we purchasing all these things from a law merchant, giving it our bodies and fornicating? Telling it to be our fathers? Come on. You know you want to say it, but, but, but the founding fathers. There you go. Start there. Start there where you first began to be raised openly. Start there. When you were first called a plebeian citizen, start at the Articles of Confederation. Article 12 says, you're pledged 
and you're charged to discharge congressional bankrupt states. Again, in 1794, they came in with one of the J treaties there, the uh, Treaty of Amity, Commerce and Navigation, and they got you with mail. They got you by posting you. How does that work? 18 U.S.C. subsection 1342 says you're a felon if you're claiming that patented last name and not the proper name. Proper name's only your first and middle. Cognomen is the last name or family name. What's a family name? Oh, it signifies you're a new species of human. That's what it has a patent on. You're not calling yourself part of the body of Christ. You're calling yourself something altogether different. A new family, a new genus, a new species, a new stock to be traded on that stock market. It's disgusting. Yesterday we were talking about the story of Job, and hopefully when Bo gets on we can talk more about that. But for now, from Philly.com, suspended lawyer faces new charges in Delaware. Delaware Attorney General Bo Biden, of course, that's Joseph Biden's little boy, running the gamut with his uh, PR campaign here, has announced the indictment of suspended lawyer Michael Kwasnick on charges of theft, securities fraud, and sale of unregistered securities, the latest in a string of law enforcement and regulatory action against him. Kwasnick of Mar Marlton pleaded guilty to New Jersey money laundering charges a year ago in connection with the theft of $1.1 million from a 96-year-old Cherry Hill widow. What does it say in the Bible about that stuff? It says when that which is perfect is come and that which is in part is done away, then Satan doesn't exist. Females are no longer held in shadow, and widows don't have to worry about getting remarried in order to protect their estates. Why do they have to get remarried? Because there's attorneys preying on them. 96-year-old widow. And you'd be surprised how often attorneys are killing elderly individuals. More than you even can imagine as we've shared on Leaving the Farm and the Bull and Rocco show throughout the span of a year we shared with you the genocide of human beings how it's facilitated I was on the phone with the doctor killing Joseph Reynolds at the time that Joseph Reynolds was being murdered by not only this doctor but the attorneys behind the scenes how did he get there somebody broke his nose that same somebody was a guardian. That same somebody was an attorney who had an emergency situation and had to put Joseph Reynolds in the hospital. No, you're pulling my leg, Tammy. This is a month after they killed Bo's mother. And we watched that play out from start to finish. A suggested diagnosis without any pathology of cancer. They killed her by chemical warfare chemotherapy and after the chemotherapy burnt holes in the frontal lobe they killed her with some uh, radiation how do they do that well they're doping everybody up including you the listener with drugs used for lethal injections to shut down the body's functions so that you can rest peacefully to the benefit of these attorneys cashing in on debt derivatives when you become a risk against your pension or the insurance. We need to weigh and measure everything, everybody, and make sure that we're keeping each other safe because this is sick. They're trying to kill our kids in Canada, trying to run them over using the cops. And then they call the kids bad boys because they shouldn't have been there, right? The cop pulled right out in front of those boys. Right? It's just absolutely deplorable that there could be any such thing as patriotism or calling these things your father. Sick. Sick, sick.